Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make an ebook website on Google Sites. I'll be showing you how to sell your ebooks and also how to auto deliver your ebooks once someone makes a purchase. The first thing you want to do is go onto sites.google.com. From here, you can either select a blank site or you can select one of their pre made templates. For this example, I'll select one of their pre-made templates. After you have done that, you can tap right where you see your page title. And just like what I did right here, you could type in the name of your ebook or you can customize it whichever way you want. You can also tap on enter site name or you could add your logo in the top left hand corner. You can also change the header color or you could add a background image if you want. After you're finished doing this, what I want you to do next, you're going to open a new tab and I want you to go onto stripe.com. A stripe.com will be the payment method that we'll be using for this example. With Stripe, you'll be able to create an account using your email address. All you'll need is your bank information and that's it. And Stripe will allow you to accept numerous payment options. So for example, with Stripe, you'll be able to accept Apple Pay, Google Pay, and numerous other payment options, which in turn will increase your chances of getting a sale and more conversion. So once you have created your account on Stripe, what I want you to do next is you're going to go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you could tap on payments. After you have tapped on payments, you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to simply scroll down and you'll see the option share a link to check out to a checkout page better yet. And we're going to tap right there where you see create a payment link. So let's do that real quick. After you have done that, all you will need to do now, as you are redirected to a new page, you'll be adding your product. So since we are selling ebooks, what I would recommend you do is you're going to go onto Canva if you don't already have an ebook cover. You could go onto Canva and from there you could create a free account. On Canva, you'll be able to create. In fact, if you don't have an ebook as yet, if you're watching this tutorial just to brainstorm and get ideas on how you could do this, you could also create an ebook on Canva from scratch. For example, I went onto Canva and I simply typed in ebook and you can see some different ebook covers right here. And if I were to scroll across, you can also see ebook pages or you could type in ebook pages. And all I did was quickly download them for this example. So let's go back into Stripe. Now, once on Stripe, you're going to tap where you see products or subscriptions in the top left hand corner and you want to ensure that you have selected products. Then from there, you're going to tap right where you see product and you could add your first product. So you're going to tap on the search bar right here and we're going to tap on add new. After you have tapped on add new, you could add in your ebook name. So I'm going to call mine test ebook just for example sake. You can add a description right here. Then you can also set the price that you would like to sell it for. After you have done that, you're going to tap on upload and you're going to upload your book cover. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to be adding this cover right here that I had created earlier. After you have done that, you want to select one time and you can also add more currencies if you want by tapping on add more currencies. You could choose a different currency if you want. Then you're going to tap on add product. After you have added your product, you'll be redirected to this dashboard once more. And all I want you to do now, you could scroll down and you could tap on collect customers address if you want, but I don't see the need for that since we're selling digital products. You can also select any one of these other options if you want. You can also scroll down and tap on advanced options. And from there, you can see that you can add custom fields if you would like to add promotional codes or so on, you can do that. You can scroll back up now. And I want you to tap on after payment. 
after selecting after payment you are going to tap on replace default with custom message and here i want you to simply type in a quick thank you message so from here you could type in thank you for your purchase so you could type in thank you for your purchase and then from there you can type in click here to download click here to access ebook and then you're going to be adding your ebook link right here now to get the link all you'll need to do is you're going to go onto Google Drive which is another completely free platform that you can use and once on Google Drive I want you to go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to tap on new then from there you're going to tap on file upload after selecting file upload, what you're going to do next you can see the ebook that I have created right here the PDF you're going to simply select it then you're going to tap on open once you have tapped on open it will automatically be downloaded or added to your Google Drive once it is added to Google Drive you're going to tap on the three dots in line with the ebook name then from there you're going to tap on share and you're going to tap on share once more after you have tapped on share once more what I want you to do now you're going to tap where you see restricted right here and you can tap on anyone with the link after you have tapped on anyone with the link you're going to tap on copy link and I would also recommend that you create a new email address just for example sake with the Google Drive so it looks more professional after you have copied the link you could go into a URL shortener for example like bit.ly and use it to shorten your URL but for this example and for the sake of time I will leave that as is but you could use for example bit.ly for completely free and you'll be able to use it to shorten your Google Drive URL and you'll also be able to track the amount of clicks or downloads that you'll get so you'll be able to get a better understanding after someone has made a purchase how many times have they downloaded it and all of that and you'll be able to adjust that as your business continues to progress so we're going to go back into stripe and all you'll do is simply paste the link right here that you have gotten from google drive or from your link shortener after you have pasted the link you can see a preview of the message right here now once you're finished doing this all you'll do is tap on create link in the top right hand corner so let's do that real quick after you have tapped on create link you will be redirected to a new page on this new page what I want you to do next is you're going to go to the top right here and by the way you can see the different payment methods that you'll be able to accept right there and by scrolling down you can preview how the product page looks so you can see the ebook cover and you can see the payment method options right here so we are going to simply scroll back up then from here you are going to tap on buy button after tapping on buy button you will be redirected to a new dashboard and you can see the dashboard right here and we are going to simply tap on copy code now after you have copied the code you are going to go into google drive then from there you are going to tap on embed from the right hand menu option after selecting embed you are going to tap on embed code and we are going to paste in our code right here then tap on next then we are going to tap on insert after tapping on insert you will see that we now have our product page added and you can adjust how the product page looks by simply pulling on the box right here and after it has been added as you can see right there you can adjust it so you could pull on the box and you could adjust the size of it if you want so if you would like to make it larger you can enlarge it once you're finished you'll simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner and from there you'll now be able to share your Google Drive URL and you'll start making some sales hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe